Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 2B in the Lewis series, where we're going to be going over data types, both basic and Gary's Mod specific data types. Now, if you're unfamiliar with uh, basic data types, um, this is a video for you. Elsewise, I mean, you don't really have to watch this video to understand what's going on in the series and stuff like this if you are experienced in other languages. So this is more for beginners. So anyway, one of the first data types, very common data type, is a Boolean, which has either a true or a false assigned to it. So these are typically used in conditional statements. So we'll say Boolean equals true. So if we have an if statement, does Boolean equal true? Or we can say that's the same thing. It's a, If it's true, then it'll execute stuff. But anyway, um, if it's true, do stuff. If it's false, it's going to be like this isn't even here because nothing's going to be executed. So right here, you're going to have your code and stuff like that for those unfamiliar with if statements. And this code will be executed on the, on the premise that this condition has been met. So we have other data types instead of Boolean, um, such as number. So this can be any type of number. So we can put 100. We can do operations with it. We could say number 2 equals number divided by 2, which means it'll, it'll be 50. We can do conditional checks with it, just like we can in Boolean. So we say if number is greater than number 2, then do your code, stuff like that. So of course, this is always going to be true. This one's always going to be false because um, this division right here with number 2, this one's always 50. This is always 100. All right, so that's number. Um, now, also take note with numbers that you can't put decimals and things like that, or things like that. Uh, for that, you need to actually do floating values, which will permit you to use decimals. So, going into the other types of data types, because we don't really cover floats, um, there's string also, so strings, uh, which is simply... Uh, a series or an array of characters to make a string of text, right? So we'll say text, we'll say characters, quotes, all these things should be associated with strings. For now, it can be that or it can be this. Doesn't really matter. Now, when you want to link two strings together, so we'll say string two, we can say string two, and this will concatenate two different strings is dot dot which means it's joining two of the strings together so it's equal to string we'll give it a little space and then we'll say is here right so it says this dot 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 is here so it's essentially saying this is here as an output right when you're combining these two strings okay so we can also do conditional checks with strings just as well as the other data types and um, don't feel limited with your if statements. You can use a bunch of data types for this. So we'll say the string equal or is it that? Well, this is not that and that is not this. So this code is not going to be activated. Did you get that? Ha, that, this, this, that. Anyway, enough with the confusing fun stuff. So another thing which is going to be commonly addressed in here is tables. Now tables is just an assortment of different data types. So the things that we just covered, boolean, there's number, there's, there's float, there's string, more tables, you name it. Um, we're going to be using tables sooner than later, so very important to cover it right now. Uh, so just remember, look out for the curly brackets. That's generally how you're going to identify a table in Gmod Lua. Uh, now, another important data type is vector. So we can say vector is a vector, which is simply three numbers, x, y, and z. So if you ever took a math class, the x, y, and z coordinates, vectors are representing that. So we can say 10, 20, 30. You can do operations on vectors. We can say vec add this other vector of 1, 2, 3. So then the resultant vector would be something like this. It'd be a vector of 10, 11, 22, and 33. So that'd be the result of this, or what this command returns if we're speaking that. So those are your basic data types. Now, if you want to get into Gmod specific data types, now uh, that would be things like that type of player. 
Now, these unique data types can be found in the Gary's Mod Wiki right here. If you go to Classes, it'll give you a list of all different things you can play around with. So right here we have the player, and here's a bunch of things we can do to the player. So we can, for example, it's this one, we can example kill the player. We can kill him silently. We can kill him silently with a pistol. No, we can't do that. Uh, we can also get the health of the player by saying health. We can set the health as such. And all kinds of things. You can get the player's frags, the ping, you name it. So that's player data type, which is pretty useful. Uh, entities is generally... It generally something which can be applied to an entity can be applied to a player so we can kill some entity if it's an NPC or it's living or something but if it's like a swep or something we might want to get the owner of that swep or that custom weapon so we're referencing a magnum or something that we might create in the future which is very likely and we want to get the owner this is how you do it uh, entities are also objects that you build with in Gary's mod so you'll spawn like a barrel that's an entity uh, the world can be considered an entity all kinds of things can be entities so it's a very very fun thing to learn so panels are something like like f4 menus huds uh, scoreboards all these things use panels panels are simply objects that are drawn two-dimensional objects that are drawn to the screen and uh, these things can be like uh, you can set like the height, for example, of the panel to a certain number of pixels, like 60 pixels tall. You can get the width. You can do some. You can do all kinds of things with this. All right. So these are the basic Gary's mod data types that you're going to be dealing with. And if you have any questions on these data types, or or if you're kind of still confused and you're just learning this for the first time, please leave a comment below, and I will get to you and help you based upon what you need help on. Uh, until then, we're going to be getting into meta tables and stuff, and stuff like that in the next video. So I will see you in the uh, next video.